Hey everybody, this is Trey with BlackFalconElectronics.com and in this video I will be showing you how to use the while loop specifically for the Arduino IDE. So first thing we need to do is understand the structure of the while loop. And in the while loop you're going to have in the parentheses your condition and within the curly braces you're going to have your statement. So let's go ahead and get this set up real quick, okay? So we're going to make some white space here and we're going to make an int called counter and we're going to have that equal zero. In our setup section, we're going to have our serial begin and we're going to start it at a baud rate of 9600. And then here in the void loop, we're going to have the while loop as you see here. Now what we're also going to do is say while and we're going to say while counter in this example is less than 10 what do we want to happen while counter is less than 10 so while counter is less than 10 we want to serial dot print and we're going to put an ln there so we uh, so that we automatically have a new line and we're going to have the serial monitor print out the value of counter it is then going to increment one time so it's going to go from zero to one and it has the one minus counter plus plus that you see here. Then we're going to delay it by 250 milliseconds. And then we're going to basically be done now. So as long as counter is less than 10, seal print line is going to print the counter, which in this for this first iteration is going to be zero is going to increase to one wait 250 milliseconds and then it's going to loop back and then it's going to check to see if after that incrementation if counter is still less than 10 and if so it's going to keep on going now we have to have a statement to catch it so what if counter is greater than 10 okay so um what this will actually mean as far as the number is concerned is that it'll equal nine so if it's less than 10 then that means well counter is less than or equal to nine because if it's greater than nine then it's 10 and then it's going to exit out of this while loop so here we're going to have an if statement to catch it and for this if statement we're going to say if counter and we're going to say if it's greater than or equal to 10 we need something to happen so what we're going to have happen is we're going to have a serial monitor and what is it going to do so we're going to have the serial dot print ln and what is it going to print It's going to print counter value resetting then we're going to have a delay by 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. And then we're gonna have counter equals zero. And then from there, it's just gonna keep on trucking. So the reason why we're having this if statement to catch it, proverbially of course, is so that this while loop will continue going forever. So first counter equals zero, and then we go to void setup we begin the serial monitor and in the void loop we have our while so while counter is less than 10 which means as long as the counter is less than or equal to 9 then you will print the value of counter in the serial monitor you increment that value by 1 wait 250 milliseconds and then you go again now if counter or in this case it'll be while counter uh, equals 10, if it were to equal 10, then 10 is not less than 10. So it breaks out of the while loop. And now it gets caught here because while counter is greater than or equal to 10, that'll catch that value. And then you'll do that zero dot print line, counter value resetting, wait for two seconds, then counter equals zero, and it goes back and then gets caught again by this uh, while loop. Okay, so the only thing we need to do is verify in our tools that uh, currently we are connected to the Arduino Nano so I'm going to select that 
And for the processor, I'm using the Atmega328P old bootloader. And the port I need to set as five. And then I can go ahead and upload it. And it's currently uploading here. And it's done. And then if we open air up, we can see counter failure resetting, then it continues counting. So that is how you have the while loop. That's how you use the while loop when you're using the Arduino IDE. Now we can show the timestamp and then we can switch to no line ending. And now you can clearly see it incrementing. And now we can also change this delay value if we wanted to to something larger if we wanted to let's say 500 milliseconds and then we can clear the output on the serial monitor and boom that's how you do it quick simple easy and to the point thanks for watching see you guys later bye